Park. I'm really nervous right now. Wish I did. You know, um, I live a stressful life right now. I'm really stressed out because I'm going to talk to you guys on this subject. Yeah. Um, something that helps me control my stress and, you know, calm myself and, you know, my life is yoga. Yoga, I find um, yoga to help my body a lot, in which I will discuss how it helps my body and my life. Um, and I, like RC, you know how he stresses out by pain stuff, and he does football to like relieve his stress, and he does all that for, you know, football. And um, yoga is like my stress relief. It's like an exercise that I do to. And um, the first thing I would like to talk about how yoga benefits your body and your life is how it brings down the stress level in your, you know, your everyday life. And yoga is a stress um, reducing technique, which is exercising here in the mind and stuff. And yeah, and according to Anne Kaiser, I think that's what I think. Um, she says more and more people are discovering the benefits that ancient ancient practice brings the stress of life. So, you know, more and more people are realizing the benefits that yoga has, so it brings stress, you know, lower. And another thing is improving sex, you know, it helps improve sex. <laughs> you know, if you are stressed, obviously you can't perform because you're thinking of like, oh my god, like I have work, and then you're just like standing there, you know, and you're flexible, so <laughs> um, pregnancy is the most stressful thing for a man and a woman. A man, because he, he has to, <laughs> with a cycle, like, look at him fat, you know? And he's like stressed out, so he can actually do yoga with his wife, you know, or girlfriend. And the mom, it helps them, you know, for birthing and to be involved with other pregnant women. And yeah, and the second thing that I would like to discuss is how it's good for your body and like um, different types of yoga because there's different types of uh, yoga, but the main one is like the basic one is hatha. Hatha yoga is um, a yoga that just um, it works on breath and meditate meditating and uh, it's for beginners and it's in a slow pace. So if you want to do extreme yoga, it's, there's other yogas for it. So, but if you want to start in a basic yoga, you start with Hatha. Um, now that I discussed how it helps your know, body, life, and what type, I would like to go um, how, like the poses. Standing poses, oh, okay. Standing poses, um, Help your body remove tension, relieve constipation. No, just <laughs> And help your posture. So I need help with that because look how I stand. I can't stand straight. I don't know why. <laughs> and um, this is a chair pose. I wonder why. Well, you just, like if you were to sit in a chair and you put your hands, your palms together, and that helps um, with your lower back and your thigh muscles. You know, so that looks complicated. Yoga is, looks easy, but it's like the most painful thing. It's not supposed to be painful if you're doing, you know, if you're doing it right. Okay, and the next one is the slow pose, which is an <coughs> inverted pose. So that's my favorite one. Um, you focus mostly on your shoulders. You there's no weight on your legs. You're just focus, your shoulders is what's holding your whole body like that. Um, the next one is the Bond Angel Pose, which that one helps like for birth. Like if you're in pain, it helps you open your, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and um, it's also good for <laughs> sex, you know, because it like, <laughs> it warms it up for you, you know. Um, <laughs> overall, I hope you find yoga, you know, with 
benefits your life and with relaxing your mind and bringing more fun in your sex life. And if you ever have babies, you know, take your wife so she could relax and not be crazy and cranky. And meet other women, you know, that are experience, experiencing the same thing. <laughs> All right, so uh, Lindsay, what did you think? Um, at the beginning, it was, uh, I mean, I got the point that she was saying, like, okay, yoga helps with stress, but it was kind of a, a I don't know, just like not really a hook, enough of a little grabber for people, I think. Um, I noticed a lot through the speech that she was saying, like, you know, and it's kind of like an um, you know, just like a builder kind of, but it's an interesting one because it's like, okay, it's a performance speech, so actually I don't know what you mean. Um, I like um, that she did the poses for the slides. Uh, I kind of want to say that there could have been more, like something throughout the whole speech. I, mean, I think it's weird for people not to have the, something to show at the beginning because I think that would be also a picture grabber. Um, but it did go well with the speech, so, and that's pretty much it. All right. Right, your personal anxiety got used as your attention device, and I thought that was okay, but maybe a little much on that. Uh, the topic is uh, identified, but you don't really have a very specific purpose statement, and I think that that's a little strange, so it needs to be sharper there. There really is no preview of what the supporting points is going to be. So at the beginning, the structure and the end goal, I just know what the topic area is, and you need to be uh, giving us a little bit more anticipation of what's coming. The uh, signposts on the first point, that was very clear, so you, it was easy to see where you were in the speech as you went along. In fact, you were very good about that on each of the uh, supporting points, on each of the supporting points as you got to it. Uh, however, sometimes the movement between those points was a little abrupt. It was sort of like you just finished the one thing and then the second thing, and I, I, okay, I, I guess we're done with that previous thing, so you need some transition language to move from one idea to the next, but it was always clear when you were you, when you were in that next point. It just, uh, like I said, just seemed like rushed a little bit. You had a, a source citation on the first point, and then that, that's the last time I heard any reference material, and I, it really felt like you were got, starting off on the right uh, foot, having uh, some information there, and then afterwards it seemed like it was all personal experience, and uh, your ideas, although I've got to be careful about saying that because there were so many of those other references there. Maybe it's not personal appearance, uh, uh, experience. Maybe you read it someplace or your yoga instructor talked to you about those kinds of things, but I don't know how you know all these things about uh, yoga that you're sharing with us. Um, the classification of the different types of yoga on that second point, I think that that point was a little underdeveloped. I think you needed to have more explanation about what's going on there. Uh, the third point, that's mostly where the visuals uh, come into play. And the visuals that you had were fine in showing us a few of the yoga poses. One of the questions that comes up as I'm thinking about it is, you know, where's it? Wh Is that the outside? Can we close that door? Yeah, outside. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's a little. It's just a little. It's my fault. I should have closed the door before. All right. I'm sorry. Um, the third point is uh, where you had all the visuals. I, I think uh, you could tell us a little bit more about how the poses work. Do, you know, the stretch out muscles. Do they stress muscles? Is it the relaxation from the stressing the muscles that produces the benefit? Um, it, you know, you've shown that chair position, for instance, and I'm wondering, is this a squat thing that you do this over and over again, or do you just hold that position for a period of time? You know, the only thing I know about yoga is I like, you know, fruit at the bottom of my yoga.
<laughs> All right. So uh, you need to tell us a little bit more about those kinds of things. I did think that you did a nice job putting some humorous stuff in the speech. You know, the, all the sex references. Of course, people laughed at those kinds of things, and they seemed to enjoy that. I thought, by the way, I thought you had a really good summary, but not a very good exit line. So, I, I mean, you, the summary actually kind of made it come together a lot more as a speech but you need a smoother exit line and you had something there that suggested you know so if you were doing this you know you know try yoga and make a few friends and that would be a good place to stop instead you go so if you try yoga you can make you a few friends and uh, well I guess that's it yeah, it's just not the same you know so you want to have a more polished exit there all right thank you